everyone in the last session i have explained you how to derive expressions for type 1 and type 2 modifications in this session we are going to see the derivations for the type 3 and the type 4 modification type 3 and type 4 modifications can be considered as a extension for the type 2 uh, modification uh, we are going to connect up in these two modifications we are not going to bring any new bus to the system we are going to connect a branch between the existing nodes let us see the derivation before going to start with the type 3 modification let me brief about the type 2 modification what we have done in the last session so we have considered a partial network and we have connected a branch which is having the impedance zb between the old bus to a new bus and we have injected a current one per unit with respect to the new bus and we have got these expressions so these are the voltages with respect to each bus that are already existing in my partial network and also the voltage with respect to my new bus now if you see the matrix finally we have got the matrix and uh, the value of the impedance with respect to my new branch is equal to zii plus zb and continue to this we have an expression with respect to the kth bus that is my newly added bus so this is the equation now we are going to use to explain the type 3 modification let us proceed type 3 modification Type 3 modification basically you will say whenever we connect an element, element is nothing but a transmission line, okay. So whenever we connect a transmission line between the old bus to the reference bus, that kind of modification will be called as a type 3 modification. So here we are not going to bring any new bus to the system. We are going to connect an element between the existing buses of the partial network. Now let us consider the partial network. We have the buses 1 to N. This I and J buses are called the old buses. Old buses in the sense the buses which are already exist in the network. Type 3 modification. You can see the statement. If we connect a branch between old bus to the reference bus. J bus is the old bus and 0 is the reference bus. So here I have connected an element between my reference to the J bus. So let us consider the impedance of the newly added branch as a Zb. Now what is the equation with respect to my newly added branch? So we are not going to bring any branch k here. So for type 2 modification since we brought a new bus k so we got this voltage with respect to the k bus. But in the type 3 modification, there is no new node. Okay. So what happens is, since there is no new node, so this V suffix A becomes 0. So in the type 3 modification, the same equation can be written, but only the change is the voltage with respect to the new node A will become 0. Because we don't have any new node here. We have connected an element between the existing old buses. From this, we can get what is the you know the i k value in this case i k is equal to minus 1 divided by z j j plus z b into this term okay so you just send this term this side so you are going to get this expression from the equation number 1 so now what are you going to do is let us consider this expression as equation number 2 and we are going to get this expression by finding the existing relations between my ith old bus means it is another old bus which is present in my partial network now we are going to find out the voltage with respect to the another old bus i with respect to all other buses present in the system okay that is going to give me this expression let us consider this expression as equation number 3 now we are going to substitute equation number 2 that is nothing but my ik value in this expression number 3. Okay, so wherever we have this ik value, let us replace this ik value by this right hand side term. So let us see what are we going to get. Now you can see here up to here 
I am not going to change anything. Okay, so this term is coming as it is. Now, this z i j is multiplying with my i k. Instead of this i k, I am going to substitute this term. So, that is what here I have represented. This term is nothing but the second equation. Let us see what we have to do further. Now, this is the equation. Now, we have to simplify this equation. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to separate my i1 terms. Okay. Then, similarly, I am going to separate the i2 terms and so on the i n terms. So, let us do that. That is equal to. Now, you can observe the first term. It is z i1 into i1 until here you have to multiply. That is minus 1 by z j j plus z b into z i j into z j1. So that's what this first term gives you. Okay, z i1 minus 1 by z j j plus z b. Okay, z i j into z j1 into i1. Okay, both the terms are belongs to the I1. Similarly, you can write the second term that is ZI2 minus 1 by ZJJ plus ZB into ZIJ into ZJ2. Okay, this is the second term. Similarly, you can write the last term also. Now, we are going to represent this above expression in terms of the matrix form. So, this VI represents like, so it is a bus voltages. Okay, so how many nodes are there? We are going to represent the equation for all the nodes. That is V1, V2 and so on Vn. Okay, so let us consider we have a N bus system that is equal to, it is just the modification. Okay, we are not going to bring any extra node to the system. That is why, Whatever the Z bus we got in the previous step means for the type 1 and type 2 modification, the size of the Z bus remains the same. Okay, just we are going to bring the effect of the bringing an extra branch to our system. So, what are we going to do is we are just modifying some changes to the existing uh, old bus. Okay, so whatever the Z bus we have in the previous step, we are going to retain. And we are going to do some modifications to that. That is the reason you will be considering the Z bus world. Okay, so consider whatever the Z bus world we got in the previous step. So that is type 1, type 2 modification. Take that Z bus matrix. Okay, this is the matrix. Take that matrix. For that matrix, you just to do this much changes. So what are those changes? This, this expression we are going to represent in the matrix. This is ZI1, ZI2, ZIN. All those things represent your Z plus old values. Minus the rest of the things I am going to represent like this. So that is 1 divided by ZJJ plus ZB. And this will be represented as a 1 as a column matrix. And another 1 as a row matrix. So this I I you can consider this VI matrix, okay, my I is varying from 1 to N, okay, so my I is varying from 1 to N, in the similarly here I have represented in place of my I, wherever I have a I, in place of that I, I have taken 1, 2 and so on N. What is the J represent here? J is the old bus, okay, to whichever old bus. You have connected the branch that is J. J is fixed. Okay. That will not change. Then in the similar way, you will just represent ZJ1, ZJ2 and so on ZJ1. And the current buses. Okay. So the bus currents. And you have to place the bus currents I1, I2 and so on I N. So let us take that. Okay. So now in this, what is this? It is the V bus and it's the modification that we are going to do for the existing bus because of the type 3 modification. So, this is the I bus matrix. So, now what is our new Z bus? This in between term representative Z bus new. Okay. That is the modification that we have to do after considering the effect of the type 3 modification. So, let us represent. So, therefore, Z bus new equal to Z bus volt minus this entire term. So, this is our final expression. So, for the type 3 modification. Now, let us see the type 4 modification.
So the type 4 modification you will say whenever an element is connected between my old bus to the old bus. Means between previous case you have connected the old bus to the reference. Now you will connect the old bus to old bus. Let us take the diagram. This is my partial network. So where I have a 1, 2 and so on. Ith bus, Jth bus and my reference bus. Okay. So here. I is one old bus and J is one old bus. Okay, what is meant by the old bus? Which are the buses already exist in my network? So now here let us uh, connect a branch between the two old buses that is I and J and the current flowing through this branch is IK and uh, let me consider, okay, since the current, uh, IJ current is coming like this, okay, IJ current is coming like this and IK current is going like this means the remaining current which is coming into the network is IJ minus IK. So here current will sum up. Now let us consider branch impedance as a ZB, the voltage at ith bus as a VI and the voltage at the jth bus as a VJ. Now let us bring the equation between the ith and the jth nodes. So, the voltage with respect to the jth bus is equal to the, okay, suppose let us consider this as an input and this as my output because the current is flowing from the jth bus to the ith bus, you know the input equal to output plus the drop, drop across the line. So, based on that expression you can write voltage with respect to j bus is equal to voltage with respect to i bus plus zb into ik. Based on this simple expression, we are going to get the further expressions. So, let me represent what is the voltage measured with respect to the I bus to the all other buses which are existing in my network. So, that is nothing but ZI1 into I1 plus ZI2 into I2 and so on. This is a ZII. Okay, so ZII if you take. So, you can see here, so with respect to my ith bus, the current flowing is nothing but ij plus ik. So, therefore, the equation can be written as that is voltage with respect to the ith bus is nothing but zii into ij plus ik plus zij into ij minus ik. Okay, here you can see from ith bus to the jth bus with respect to this jth bus the current is ij minus ik. So the impedance between the zi and the zj if you consider zij, so the expression becomes zij into ij minus ik and with respect to the ith bus this becomes zii into ij plus ik. That's what we have used here. With respect to the ith bus you will multiply the current ij plus ik and with respect to my jth bus you will multiply with the current ij minus ik plus with respect to my n bus it is zjn into in. So now let us take this uh, base expression where vj equal to vi plus zb into ik. Now we are going to expand this expression. This is the expression for my Vj. However, you have written this expression. In the similar way, you are going to write for the Vj also. Okay. So that represents this entire equation which is equal to my Vi. Okay. So this first expression I am going to represent here which represent the Vi expression plus extra I am going to add this Zb into Ik. Okay. So here I am going to add. So now this expression is equal to your second expression. Okay, so the top equation represents Vj and the bottom equation represents the Vi plus Zb into Ik. I am going to send this left hand side to the right hand side. Now by rearranging this above expression that means you will get 0 equal to Zi1 minus Zj1 into I1. Similarly you will just uh, get the other terms. By arranging like this, you are going to get this entire expression. So now here what is the problem is, since we are working with the type 4 modification, this ik should not be there. Okay, so this ik we have to remove. How can we remove this ik is? Just by writing the similar equations like the equation number 1 and equation number 2. However, we have eliminated the ik in the type 2 modification. In the similar way, you are going to eliminate here also. Okay, so that's what the procedure we are going to follow. Just to form the similar equations like equation number 1 and the 3. And uh, 
uh, the elimination of IK in this equation 3 is done using a similar procedure like type 2 modification. Okay, you just can refer the type 2 modification what we have done to eliminate this IK value. We are just going to follow the same procedure like what we have followed in the type 2 to remove this IK value. So, after eliminating the IK and if you represent these equations in the matrix form, we are going to get this matrix the same. This center matrix is the Z bus mu. So, let us represent this in the equation form. It is Z bus volt minus this value. This diagonal value will go to the denominator. It is 1 by Zb which is the branch impedance plus Zii. It is the self impedance with respect to the from bus and it is a self impedance with respect to the two bus and minus two times of the mutual impedance between the from bus and the two bus that is ith bus and the jth bus which are two volt buses. This gives the column matrix which is this one and this gives the row matrix which is this. Okay. So here I have represented I varies from 1 to n. This here whatever i we have represented that is going to vary from 1. It's a mistake. It is not 1i. It is i1. Okay. You just have to consider here i1. i1 minus uh, j1 and so on in minus jn. Okay. So, these are the expressions. Four expressions we need to solve the Z bus building numerical. Okay. So, it is just uh, technically we should know the equation. So, we have to derive the concept. But uh, uh, to solve the numericals, you just have to know the concept. Okay. So, you don't need to remember these equations and all. We can uh, just solve the numericals with a minimal knowledge about the Z bus building algorithm. That we will see in the next class. I hope it is clear. Before going to understand this type 3 and type 4 modification i strongly recommend you to see the type 1 and type 2 modifications and uh, come and look at this type 3 and type 4 modification because it is just extension to the type 1 and type 2 thank you